Okay, so for my meatballs, I'm sauteing up some onions and mushrooms with some garlic salt, pepper, and a little bit of Italian parsley. And then I've got the beef in here. And then I'm going to chop some basil. And I'll see you in a minute. Okay, I also put a, a quarter cup of oats and then one egg. And the chopped basil, I put a little bit in here and then a little bit to cook with the onions and mushrooms. So as soon as the onions and mushrooms cool off, I'll be adding them to this to this bowl and mixing it all up with my hands. And I'll show you what it looks like after that. Okay, so here's the meatball mix. Again, we've got ground chuck, uh, oats, sauteed onions and mushrooms, and basil, um, and one egg. I normally would add some ketchup or some spaghetti sauce, but I forgot and I don't feel like mixing it all up again, so um, I think it'll be fine without it. Um, and I will, when I package them up, put spaghetti sauce on top once they're cooked. So I think that'll suffice. Um, I was going to add Parmesan cheese as well, but I think before they bake I'm just going to sprinkle some on the top. So anyway, I'll show you the next step in just a moment. Okay, here's my meatballs, and I'm going to put them in at 375. Uh, I think for like 35 minutes, I'll check them and see. They may need some extra time, um, but yeah. So um, when you look back, or when, when I come back, they should be cooked. Okay, so these are my meatballs, steaming hot. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get a close-up without getting steamed on. So I put Parmesan cheese on top, so that's why um, you see the brown sprinkles there. But yeah, they turned out pretty good. Okay, so here's an example of my portion size. That might be even a little bit too big, but I figure I'll package it up and then, you know, whatever I don't eat, I'll toss. Um, but three little meatballs, and I'll show you how I get them ready for freezing. So I've got a piece of foil to protect freezer burn and then I've sealed the bag and took out as much air as possible. And there we go. I wrap it up like a little burrito and it goes in the freezer.